It's Business 360, and my name is Vlad Nukem. And now we'll be looking at some details regarding the protests and the economy of Nigeria, the way forward. We'll look at different diametrics in this, as my guest joins the conversation this afternoon, or rather this morning. Dr. Lee Elias joins the conversation and looking at the Nigerian economy amid the hunger protests. And Dr. Lee, a good morning. Good afternoon to you. Well, good morning, Dr. Lee, still morning, not yet noon. Uh, good morning. Uh, well, Dr. Lee is a financial expert and economist in that regard, and we start a conversation here. I made a protest, Doctor. We hear that fuel queues are easing in Lagos as there's a depot resumption in terms of loading. I don't know what the situation is for you in Abuja. How is the state of queues in Abuja? Let's start there. Right. I, I think while I was uh, driving out this morning, there is, a, there is still a fuel queue. Um, but you know that uh, it's like uh, the NNPC uh, attract more uh, buyer compared to other, perhaps because of the the money, the amount they are selling it, 617, others are like uh, 680, 690, 700. So I think the fuel key is still on. You cannot just branch to any uh, filling station and buy. And it, I, it appeared there is no even enough. I think the fuel key is still there. All right. The fuel queue still in Abuja, a bit concerned there amid all the protests that's happening. And then a depot, depot closure from Lagos, but we're hearing it's easing at the moment. But let's get to the thick of the conversation. The financial minister of Nigeria, Wale Edun, uh, came out yesterday in an interview to say, there's no budget allocation for fuel subsidy. In other words, fuel subsidy will not return amid protests that's taking place. A doctor, you followed the protests taking place and many protesters. One of those demands has been that a fuel subsidy returning. They're saying inflation is everything is so cool. at this point we can't afford to run the system the way the system is. The one subsidy to the back. I ask you now what you make of the protest and the very fact that Wala Edu, the financial minister, said yesterday a fuel subsidy will not return. Right. Uh, if you see the, the challenges of first subsidy, I think is a recurrent, uh, recurring decima that I think it's been not even part of uh, Nigeria for a long time. According to the Minister of uh, of uh, Finance and coordinating uh, uh, coordinating the economy, he made mention that six hundred million dollars is being spent monthly on first subsidy. Mm. And that appears that we still are still living with first subsidy. And like I said on this your beautiful program severally. That the challenges of uh, the contradiction or the the challenges of floating dinera and removing first subsidy may not even will not go away simply because what we should have enjoyed from first subsidy has been eroded by the removal of first of uh, of uh, uh, by the floating of naira. So the naira that will float now naira does not have value. You need to use this naira to go and convert it to dollar to go and import. So we are still suffering. At the same level, subsidy is still ongoing. If at all, government is still cushioning it to an extent. But I can tell you, there's still subsidy, and it's because of the nera uh, devaluation. All right, your perspective is uh, the problem is not just about subsidy, but the nera devaluation has caused the bulk of a problem in this. And people now, let's look at the protest because I begin to ask what the expectations would be next are from protesters. And now that the minister has come out and made it clear that fuel subsidy will not return, what's the way forward now for Nigeria's economy as protesters are still out there protesting and the key demand has been that of, of fuel subsidy? What do you think the government should do? Should they just keep quiet? Or you think the protest is leaving anytime soon? It's, a, it's supposed to span for 10 days. It's getting to seven days already, but it could be quite conse uh, consequential. What are your perspective? within this, what the government should do and how the protesters should react. Right. Uh, if you ask me, I think the protest is there, is quite timely. And I think for me, I think the, the protesters have achieved their aim. Even before the protest began, you see that government is even the one, uh, government are the one amplifying the protest itself. So the, the message has been passed already. So if the protest stops today, they have achieved their aim. They have bring government attention to what are the yearnings of people. The hunger is clear. And it is clear that the protest is sponsored by... 
But Dr. Ali, uh, difficult to get what you uh, make sense of that now. Connection issues in that regard. But you're talking about a protest being sponsored. Have achieved, so they have achieved their aim. So, so I think they should, they, can, they should stop the protest. However, if you look at government uh, president's speech, it has not actually addressed the, the, the challenges. For me, I was thinking the president would come up and say, okay, since we have uh, 100% uh, rights on uh, NNPC uh, amount of selling, let's reduce 100 naira from the NNPCL uh, for Nigeria. And that would have pushed the effect immediately. But subsequently, our refinery must work, and Dangote uh, need to come on board. Us to, and the CNG in particular must be functional that every person can just branch anywhere to fix their, to convert their vehicle to CNG. All right. Are you talking about putting things in place and action taking place? Because right now there's no action. And a response from the president's speech doesn't seem to handle these situations. What well, one of the talking points which we handled today or talked about earlier on today is that Dangote Petroleum Refinery and other domestic refineries have accused the state of oil companies, Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NMPCO, of not complying with the federal government's directive to sell crude to them in Naira. Uh, we heard of it when Dangote Refinery came on board, everyone was uh, quite excited. But recently, Dangote came out and he complained about uh, crude oil not being sold to him, supply concerns in that. But the presidency also gave an order uh, that they should sell to him and other local refineries in Naira. In other words, in other words, not to help the exchange of the Naira as you talked about. But they are saying, look, up till now, nothing has happened in that direction. Well, uh, and that is the challenge of this government. This government are quick at making uh, uh, pronouncements, but they are not good and quick at making the, the implementation of their pronouncements. Let me give you a short one. You recall that President uh, Tinubu declared state of emergency on food security as of July 13, 2023, and one year down the line now, we have not seen the impact of uh, food security in Nigeria. Perhaps even the food is even getting much more uh, uh, higher in terms of their cost. Now, Talking about Dangote refinery, if you recall, even, even Dangote uh, oil, according to the federal government, they are going to supply some parts, not even everything that you actually need. And even where they want to source it is not well certain now. I could see that they have a new blend uh, 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 location now that they want to use. But for me, I think it's, they need to be proactive rather than reactive. It's when Dangote now complain that they are reactive. This is when Nigeria complained that this government is reactive. This government must sit down and have short-term, medium-term, and long-term plan for Nigeria. And let us know so that we can key into their plans. For me, this government is good at being reactive, not uh, proactive at all. Well, I'm not quite satisfied with the way government is approaching things. But one match happened recently during the protest. It was the state of the Naira. Uh, we hear that the Naira has recorded two consecutive appreciation against the dollar at the foreign exchange market amid the protest. 1,601 Naira per dollar on Tuesday against 1,607 Naira. In other words, 6 Naira, 15 Kobo again. On Monday too, it was significant game. Before I let you go, I ask this now. When you look at the times of protest, many would have expected that it could be a consequential time uh, for the Naira equally. I mean, protests and, and fuel queue and the rest of it, but it's not happening. The Naira is strengthening against the US dollar amid this protest. How does this work out? What is driving the Naira? You have an idea on that. Well, for me, as an economist, we sometimes we have to believe that uh, when things are normal, all things being equal, yeah, we can still have reduction in uh, the value of uh, 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 Naira to, to dollar. But for me, I think, you know, when there's protests like this, Nigerians has also lost a lot. Maybe if, if you have to look at the amount, even though the protest is not total, it has affected a whole lot. A state like uh, Kaduna, Kasina even have to declare a uh, curfew 24 hours. So it's something they've lost a lot. So it's... Have, a ripple effect on our economy and it also gives more strength to 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 dollar so for me i think it can come down if government can do the needful and what are the needful let our refinery be functional let dangote refinery be uh be functional so if these tools are, are working and nigeria also depend less on pms by using cng i think we can have a, a respite to an extent uh, thank you dr aliyu elias for joining the conversation and sharing your thoughts with us Thank you for...